Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Preschool Sunday School. I'm Miss Lana, along with Carlin. And we have been talking about God's creation. How he started out with all darkness, and he made the light. And then he made the earth, and he made the land, and the water, the sky, the sun, the moon, the stars, plants, and animals. And today, we're going to be learning about what else God made. But first off, let's have our prayer. You guys remember how to do that? We put our hands together so they don't get in trouble and play. We bow our heads and close our eyes so we can focus on what we're saying to God. So what we'll say is, Dear God, thank you for the world you made. Thank you for the animals. Thank you for the plants, the trees. Most of all, thank you for the people. And thank you for Jesus. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. All right, let's get started. Have you got your Bibles? Carlin has hers. There's hers. Now let go of the picture for a minute. And I have mine that we use in Sunday school. Well, our story is right at the very beginning, which is in the Old Testament in Genesis. And here's a nice picture you guys can see right there. See the plants and the animals and the water? Well, back in Genesis, it says, In the beginning, God created the world. And on the sixth day of creation, God made animals to live on the land. And then God made people. God made the first man from the dust of the ground. He called the man Adam. He gave life to Adam by breathing into him. He placed Adam in the garden to work it. But Adam was alone. So God decided to make a woman right there. Her name is Eve. So Adam and Eve took care of the fish and the water, the birds in the air, and animals that walk and crawl on land. He gave them the fruit trees and plants to eat, and they lived together in the garden. Adam and Eve were the first people that God made. And when he was done, it was all good. And we have a Bible verse that Carlin will help me with that says, I am wonderfully made. And we get that in a different part of the Bible, which is in Psalms 139, 14. There are different things you can do with your family. You can take them on walks, go outside, talk about your family, your friends. You can draw pictures of people, and you can talk to them. And that's one of the nicest things that God really did was he made people. And he made families like Carlin Grace to be part of my family. Well, that's all we're going to have for now. Until next week, we love you and we miss you. Take care.